Prince Fielder for Ian Kensler. Who won the trade? Well, personally, I think Texas won the trade. Prince Fielder is a year younger. I know he takes up more cap space, but every year since his second season in the MLB, he's hit at least 25 home runs each season. Fielder's got some leverage, some momentum, some pop on his swings. And even if there, he has had HGA issues or rumors in the past, I think that's behind him now. And just Ian Kensler just seems like it was a cap move to save cap space on Detroit's end. So I'm going to go with Prince Fielder. We'll see how the Prince Fielder-Ian Kensler trade pans out. It's going to be interesting because the Tigers got the ALCS last year, and now they're shift sending Prince Fielder to Texas after Jim Leland left the team. A lot of major transitions are going on in Detroit. And as a Cleveland Indians fan, I'm kind of excited about that because the team chemistry is going to drop even if Detroit continues to pitch outstanding. The team chemistry in terms of batters is going to go down. And if Cleveland can continue to hit the ball late in the year, get the home runs, the line drives, just get the batters on base, the Cleveland Indians can take the AL Central next season. I'm really liking Cleveland's odds right about now, but we got to work on our pitching, guys. Got all over the ERA, last longer in innings. Cleveland can work on our pitching. I think we got it this year. I think Cleveland will win the World Series and get by the Pirates, and it'll be epic. But if the Pirates win, too, that's cool. But, like, yeah, I don't need to sugarcoat it. The Tigers got screwed, and Prince Fielder will be a star in Texas. He can't be worse than A-Rod in Texas, right? A-Rod, the contract? Yeah, we get it. 